A lot of times we think of restoring cars uh, in the terms of restoring old cars. And a lot of the cars that we grew up with, they're getting older and it's kind of hard to acknowledge. But Tony, you guys are really involved not only with restoring classic muscle cars from the 60s, but that timeline's moving forward and forward. Cars from the 80s are 30, 35 years old now. Definitely, definitely. What's the latest realm that you're playing in? Well, so our newest line is going to be the Buick G-Body line, A and G-Body line. So it's 78 to 87 Buick Regals, T-Times, Grand Nationals, and of course those infamous 1987 GNXs. That's an awesome, awesome thing. And it, it still blows my mind to think that today, because I was in high school when those cars came out, uh, but they were used cars driven daily by a lot, you know, by most people and exactly. not always taken care of, and now it's time to fix them up. Exactly, they kind of sit and they, they wear out. Everything wears out you know, over time, but we want to bring those back and we want to get those things back on the road. I mean, they're awesome, awesome cars and they look incredible when they're done and nothing looks better than an all black Grand National and, and that is just super cool and we want to get into that, definitely. It's one of the most amazing cars because the GN, my favorite year, I'm gonna say 87, 86 right yep. before that. Yep. Uh, 3.8 turbocharged V6, 240 horsepower, 245, yes. somewhere yes. around there. Yes. Which doesn't sound like anything today, but in a Turbo 6, the way it was geared and the way the power came down, they were fast cars. Oh, they were quick. You think of an 87 Grand National, those cars were faster than the Corvette that year. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you get that, they come on quick and they're and they're fast. And then especially those 86, 87 cars, they're intercooled, mm -hmm. which was the first time that that had been done for those cars. And, and it added performance, but also reliability to those 3.8s, which sure. is really awesome. The other thing that I always found interesting about those cars is the nice ones never came down in price. No, no. <laughs> in fact, they keep going up. Yeah, and yeah. That's, that's, really, that's really saying something about the market, how a lot of the older cars, you know, you think Chevelles, Cadillacs, mm -hmm. GTOs, they, they keep going up, but then those Grand Nationals are, are bringing bring strong money now, and, and that's that's showing how well these cars are doing. So what uh, what product lines are you getting into with these cars? So we're, we're making stuff now for the Chevrolet G-Bodies. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we carry those, those cars previously. Um, and a lot of that stuff carries into the Buick, which is nice. Um, so we're, we're focusing more on, on manufacturing, uh, more Buick Regal, Grand National uh, items, mm -hmm. uh, which is a strong market, of course. Uh, but then you take those parts that we already currently carry and move them over. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to have a very, very nice catalog for everybody. So the Chevrolet stuff, we're talking suspension parts, ball suspension, joints, yeah, things exactly. like that. Exactly, exactly. All that stuff will will cross over, and then some interior stuff, not a lot, but we, you know, Resto Parts does make uh, sill plates, um, window trim, uh, th those kind of things that may be pitted and damaged over mm -hmm. time. That very easily to do. Um, we carry that stuff, and so it's readily available. Now, is the Grand National catalog available yet, or is it coming? Or? It is coming in March 2017, but you can go on opgi.com, and you can order thousands of parts now, and we're uploading parts every day. Oh, great. Brand so new parts, yes. Even before the catalog's printed, the exactly. stuff is, uh, is available. Yes, definitely, and that's, that's what is kind of nice about it. We can get stuff out there to the public, and we even at SEMA, we've had a lot of interest in our new Buick line, and that's great to hear. We, we want to hear that. Any uh, uh, flagship part or anything that's really special or, or interesting that is coming that you're uh, excited about or particular genre? I mean, I imagine you guys are known for doing some of the plated parts, handles, mirrors, and, and badges. You're going to kind of start in that area, too, on these cars? Exactly, definitely. I would have to say a lot of the trim, you know, your windshield trim, the any of the exterior trim, uh, even the sill plates that I talked about previously, that stuff is going to be our, our, some of our main movers, and, and we're really excited about it. They look good, and they fit even better. Right on. Definitely. Well, it's so glad to see those cars getting some love in the rest of the world. Oh, definitely, and I, and I really have to commend our sourcing team. They've done an excellent job uh, bringing these parts in because it, it's a lot of work, you know, finding parts and, you know, things that you want to bring in and have in our catalog to make it look nice, and, and so I really have to commend them to doing a great job. Awesome. Well, I yes. appreciate the time, and we both wore black in honor yeah. of the car. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> I mean, nothing better than that, right? That's right. <laughs>